Hey everybody, this is Jarrett with Enphase's Learning and Development Team. I just wanted to put this video together to walk you through how to access the training dashboard for your company. This is important to see who has been trained at your company, who is authorized to commission certain systems out there in the field. And so this training will walk through each of those steps to see who's taken what training and who's authorized to do commissioning. To access this, you need to make sure that you are an administrator for your company. If you have the user role of user, you won't be able to see this, but all administrators for the installer portal will have access to this data. Let's jump in. All right, let's start off with showing you how to access the training dashboard. The first thing you'll need to be is an admin for your company. That's the important thing or you won't see this. So there's two ways to get to it. The first one is underneath the systems menu at the very top. And if you hover your mouse over the systems words, you'll see a drop down and you'll see training in there. The other way is if you go to the very bottom of the page on your dashboard where it says my account information, you will also see a training link in there. Click on that and that will take you to the training dashboard. Inside of the training dashboard, you can go ahead and navigate over to the company status. Inside of this, you'll be able to see the various learning paths that have been started or have completed in here. You can see the column headers, you can see the completion with the percentage and by whom, and you can also see when those were last updated as well. Each of those columns can be sorted by using the up and down arrows. You can also use the magnifying glass there to do a search for a specific learning path or a specific person. You can also export that using the download button in the upper right hand side of the screen. The next section over is the user status section. And this is one that I really like a lot because it gives you a snapshot of all of the learners at your company. And it shows you what training they've taken, what learning paths they've taken, and if they completed them or not, or what portion of that particular path they've completed. It's a really great way to check status of who's done what at your company. If you've got a lot of people at your company and you've assigned a specific learning path to a group of people, you can also search on that as well to figure out who has actually taken and completed the training or who is not. It's a really great resource to look at. If you've got the big group of people, you can always export that list using the download button in the upper right hand side of the screen. Export that to a CSV file and then you can go and massage that data any way that you like. This is one of my favorite screens to get a quick status update on who's taken what training. The last area that I'm going to focus on is the commissioning authorization. Now based on this, this is basically telling you that you're authorized to commission the following system types and functions based on you and your company's training completion. So on the left hand side where you'll see it says mandatory in that section for the various system type or function those things need to have a level of training and certification for you to be able to commission those systems in the field. For the items that you qualify for commissioning, those will be shown in a green circle with the check. Things that you are not able to commission are going to show up with that little orange circle. If you click on each of those things, you are going to see the requirements and prerequisites that you need to be able to do those. So in this instance here, I'm clicked on the design certification. And in here, you can see that uh, I've started it. It says in progress, but it's not complete. If you click into another one, it'll give you maybe two or three different things that you have to complete. And I'll tell you the progress of each of those as well. So again, if you wanna see what your particular status is to be able to commission a system, this is where you need to go to do that. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully everybody found this informative on how to get to the training dashboard within your company and how to run some basic reports to figure out who's done what training or where they're at in the process for a particular training. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.